Hey guys, welcome to Farmer Simulator 2017 on Shamrock Valley. So we've got the trailer fully loaded. You can see some of the straps are clipping through. I didn't know the height that you could go on these. Definitely need to cut the logs a little bit smaller, it seems. But we will go and go down to the forestry area, wherever that is, <laughs> go sell them. So I need to go find where that actually is. I have no idea, so do the method that I tell a lot of people. Let's get rid of all of the vehicle stuff and spinnery. I got a feeling it could be down. Ah, the sawmill. I was going to say, I've got a feeling it could be down at the uh, gypsy store, but apparently not. Visit. Where is La Sawmill? Alright, we need to do that. And. Oh, okay, it's right next to where we come out. Where is the main road, though, to it? Oh, is it over this little one? Oh, uh, well, I think it's actually on the same road that we're going to be having to come out anyway. Yeah, it is, totally. Ah, oh, sweet. We shouldn't miss it, though. And, okay, every, I'm not lying. Every time I've gone to this person, it's changed characters. It seriously has. That's hilarious. A minute ago it was someone in a grey top, and now it is someone in a brown top. Go figure. Alright, uh, rock and roll with our load of legs. This tree is still most definitely there, so it'll take us a bit. Any profit that we probably make off of uh, doing a little bit of forestry here and there. I don't plan on doing a crab time of it, it's like once I'm done this. Trust me guys, I'm not going back to it today. So, don't worry, it's not all going to be about forestry. I know how much everyone loves the forestry. You can see everything popping in down there. So we'll take a nice little old cruise down there. Sell the logs, apparently we've still got a branch attached. No worries. I think next time around I'll probably just use the damn pickup truck and if this trailer will hook up to it hook up this trailer a few logs in there and some of the bigger stuff in back end of that and once we get our little wood chipper hopefully the wood chipper could take these size logs I really don't know what it could take and what it can't I'll probably at some, at some point just for experimental purposes cheat it in and see like save the game, cheated in, not on camera, not even on stream, just off camera, and run a log for it, see what it can take, and if it works, then, well, we'll quit out the save, and we'll patiently wait until we can uh, afford it. I don't know what's actually more money, uh, the wood chips or the actual logs. Uh, I really have no idea. It's just extra steps to do, a bit more fun, I guess. That's why I'd do it, personally. And cut down the old tree here and there. There it is. Right next down to the docks. Which I've still not actually been down to with... Sort of, while recording. It's kind of funny, that. The narrowboat going by. Some people are kind of confused about the narrowboat. And now you guys mentioned it, so am I. Narrowboat? In... Seawater? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's part of Ireland that has a huge, almighty lake? <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. Right, so let's go find the sail points. So that is obviously wood chips. Boom. And of course, seasons probably changes how much that will cost too. And that's us. As quick as that. Let's take a look around here, see what it's all like. Love the fact you just drive through that and that's that done. Uh, the log's kind of bobbing in the water. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of that personally. This is something that I doubt you'd see in Ireland, but hey. That's taken from the stock game. More of those planks covered up. 
Pretty cool area, actually. Pretty cool indeed. So what we'll do now is head on back to the main yard, uh, which is going to be quite the drive, actually. Eh, yeah, actually shouldn't be too bad. Now, unfortunately, field one, we had our 7810 plowing on that on Tuesday's video. I notice as I come back to just get this one going again, that that tractor had missed a whole crap ton of it. I, I toyed with the idea of possibly, yeah, we'll leave it. No, I can't leave that. That was a lot. And I think it's the offset. Uh, I didn't reset it. Course player always puts an offset on, and well, I think it's screwed me again. So I reset the offset, and it's going again. So we won't be going to that other than accidental tabbing. Solely on the premise of, well, it's plowing a field that's already plowed. Hopefully, you guys. And somewhere I'm going on that. Uh, as far as the horse, the horses are doing very well. Weeding our grass field, aka fertilizing it, aka cheating the hell out of the grass. <laughs> Using stock and game mechanics. And I'll probably blip forward time very soon, end up feeding the cows. Probably run a th couple of uh, feeds through them today. At least once we get back to the yard, we'll end up doing that. And this is going to be a a slow old drive, but I, I just I don't know about you guys, but I love the scenery in autumn in this game. With seasons, of course. It's not like the stock. Something about it looks so pretty. Can't imagine what Forza is going to look like. Yes, I'm still on about Forza. Deal with it. <laughs> but it's true. And it's another game that's added seasons in that's got sort of a free reign aspect. Yes, this has maps and you're locked into the maps, but it's you can do whatever, it's not story driven. I've never been up that path to the, towards the uh, windmill. There you go, you can see the horse working the ground there. Nice cool weather, shouldn't be uh, sweating too much. Perfect for working a horse. Now, I'm not going to do that that often either, because of how long it will take. All joking aside, it will take a long time, so, yeah, I'm not too worried. Just like using this tractor to do the forestry work, I'm not using it again. It's too slow. Way too slow. Here, man, get up the hill, old bestie. There we go. Actually, we may start preparing for winter too, uh, grabbing the gritter at least to the snow plow. I don't want to leave that lingering just in case the gritter will keep because obviously it has salt in it, so we'll keep that around here. If it even snows, we may just keep it down at the. Oh, that stuff down at the store, hidden away somewhere. If we need it, we need it, sort of thing. Yeah, if we can tuck that there. Stay in this thing, because I'll be shocked if the cows at this point do not need any water. There we go. And we'll give the girls some water. Well, we're in this tractor, more as well, right? And next turn. Love the old T dubs, but good god, they're slow. They really are. Oh, I need to clean them out too, actually. There we go, some guys for us to do. And that's what these videos are going to be like when uh, it's not harvest time or summertime. You know, I, I, I'm still peeved the fact I nuked that game save. Not the game save, but the, the video. There we go. Enough for three days. Not 
gonna lie, that's kind of what I want to see on the feed as well. So I don't need to worry about that every five seconds. I'll run this to the water tank. I've had quite a few people ask me where the water tank is. As well. And it's kind of hidden away with clutter. Yeah, it definitely should be a bit more prominent, I believe. And jump into... 75. Why the 75? Well, because. And we'll get that on uh, the mixer. We'll just get that hooked up for now and then we'll jump into the telehandler. And clean the cows out first and foremost. Lots of backwards and forwards. It really looks like all of the... They have... All of the bales are shifted over. What on earth happened there? And what has happened to the bales? Did some run away? Definitely looks like there's some missing. What the hell? Ooh, what's that error? Error mouse event. Course play. Oh, that's gonna be the uh, tire thing. Huh, maybe that won't be sticking around for long. Yeah, we have definitely, definitely lost some. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that using that shed, let me know. I'll have to keep an eye on that, that could screw us. Back this up and... Use the no collision camera to our advantage here in a second and see what the hell's going on. Yeah, there's some gone. That's really weird. They shouldn't be running away in a building like that. Well, I'm really not much I can do other than when we get down to that point. That, uh, I can see what's gonna happen now, guys. And that's gonna be a whole stack falling over. And there's something I have got no ambition of wanting to fix. That'll be an auto load trailer and we'll auto load them outside somewhere until we can get a uh, stack inside again. the game truly screw me though. I can see that whole section down at the back. You can actually see that's getting worse. So what I'm going to quickly have to do here is run down and fold that and we're going to lose that section. That's going to get blown out. Jeez, I did not think I'd be doing a load of work as far as fixing this crap.
completely legit run up the boom of the telehandler to get somewhere, but... I just, I just fail to understand what has happened. Like, sure, they've all collapsed, but yeah, we must have lost a bail down there. I'm wondering if the snow mask has messed up on this building. I'll ask people in today in the stream on uh, Monday. Bear in mind, I am recording this on Monday. If uh, they know what the hell would be going on there. Actually, a tool that I could use to, to help me on this would possibly be this. Can we fall down there as well again? Kind of. No information. Why is there no information on those straw bales? Hmm. They were some of the first bales we did. Actually, all of these were. I've not done straw for so long now. These are okay. Hmm, I can see us losing more of those bales. We may actually have to go in there and fix it at some point. <laughs> ah, crap, I can't even move with this where I wanted to. Alright, we'll throw these here for now. I'm getting more and more manure. I'm gonna have to start keeping this stuff over here. As long as it doesn't affect my hay, I'm okay. The, uh, which it looks like it's going to, unfortunately. The straw, though. Hmm. Let me know your ideas on that one. I think something's happened to the bales. Now, bear in mind, none, though, all those bales are legit. And all of those straw bales are before seasons were in. Every single one of them. So I'm really not too sure what the deal is, though. All I do is just to progress time. We'll blip it over to 15 times. And we'll see if we lose any more of those bales. I can see us going in, in there soon and it's just going to be an absolute cluster. I don't know what I'll do at that point. I really don't. All right, now to clean up all the poop. Yeah, that's got to be the thumbnail for this video. Just the cluster in there. The semi-clickbaity thing of question mark. You gotta love stuff like that happening. Random, like, obviously something's caused issues that's made that happen. There's a reason for it. But it's kind of a random event. Neat, right? Stuff that's dynamic, I think that's going to be a big factor in games soon enough in its dynamicness. And you look at Euro Truck with their random events, granted they're pretty much the same sort of thing over and over again, but they're dynamic. It's different roads have different effects that go on, which is really cool to see. Phantom, it's a bit more harder to do because that's all dependent on the map creator and where they put stuff and all that. And even to a point with the way... 19 is going to be with user created farms it's going to be you're never going to be able to do any sort of thing random like that because giants aren't going to know where people are going to put stuff could be completely different area from what giants have kind of hinted at put stuff here why are you eating the mud there is nothing there for you to be eaten Eat the delicious food that I have prepared for you. Like this one's doing. 
And that one. And the rest of them that are probably forming a line to come on in now. Really, I need to concentrate on getting this stuff out so their health stays good. And right now it's taken a while for their health to build up. Now, unfortunately, with time acceleration on them, as much as I'm cleaning this out... I actually know it's the grass that matters more than anything. The manure, I can let pile up because the game sees this as just the manure pit. It doesn't see it for the game's health, or the cow's health. And I believe Seasons won't even see that. Because of the way the stock game mechanics are. Which I don't mind doing the marking out stuff, but after a while it does get tedious, I'm not going to lie. Even with that little bit there, they should be fine. And then I guess we'll go tackle the damn uh, straw to buckle. Whilst well, grabbing a couple of uh, silage bales first to go put in the mixer, because I do want to feed them again, especially with us run running down the time a bit progressing through the day. Now after this, uh, I don't know if I'll go get something to eat quick or not. Uh, see what cause play status is going because I don't want to run it. Leave this in the background running. For whatever reason, sometimes a farm sim for me. If I've got it running in the background on a alt tabbed out and you guys will hear me complain about this a lot in the streams it will lag out basically my mouse judders across the screen and then it will go smooth and then it will judder across the screen and go smooth it's weird how farmsim does that uh, I've not noticed in any other game do it but farmsim it's almost like it's requiring so much power yet I don't remember ever doing it before it's weird for sure definitely once or two years are up with all the game saves and all the changes done with farm sim mods and all that you need to wipe it you really do it's just about Sam's brother didn't release No, I had a colour system going on here. And the black bales were the ones that we did first. And then the pink were the second cut of uh, silage. Oh, well. Not technically silage, it's haylage. You guys know what I mean. So that's why these are pink. Way easy on the control though, jeez. Yeah, I'll definitely go grab something to eat after this. I am getting hungry. Hopefully it still takes four, it does. Not exactly neat, but it doesn't need to be. Just so I don't need to go keep running back and forth I'll do two fields with the silage. It's probably only going to go turn around and say, oh, we've got enough for six days or three days or whatever. And to that, I'll be actually kind of happy, but we shall see. Now, tomorrow is also going to be um, Shamrock. So the plan for tomorrow's video, if you guys... Want to know? It probably to buy that field and maybe get that ploughed up. Uh, whether I will do that in a video, or sort of, I'll do it or video. Or I don't know how I'll do that because that is a big field. But you'll probably find me start rinsing through these this part of the season fairly quickly and get back to where we can actually do some interesting stuff.
I have really got a gut instinct saying we are going to lose more bales. And if that is the case, I hope at that point we're through enough of our hay bales. That won't cause any issues and we can just do something as simple as auto stack those out of the way. And grab an auto load tray to go through and remove all the straw bales and just sell them and create new. Oh, what? I only grabbed three. Really? Come on now. Granted, I can't see crap from up there, but... Again, the stack doesn't need to be neat because it's just going to get... Oh, well, two of them at least are going to get thrown into the... Mixer. I'm gonna pull the damn thing out because it's still hidden away. We have bales literally everywhere right now. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Thank you. And. Grab those two. Almost topple over the stack there. Still haven't done what I said I was wanted to do, and that's basically organise a another stack, which I may end up doing at some point. And especially now, actually, I've got to clean all of that up of uh, silage bales and. Hay bales, which I can just literally gr gr go in there and treat it almost like a magazine. Already ready, just drive into the pile, grab four bales. Two hay, two silage. And just keep doing that. Right, mixer on. We're parked too close to the gate, so that's going to do that just a little trick. And boom, 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 boom. Go back through, open the damn gate. There we go. Hit that one so you can see the mixing time down at the bottom. That script is available from the Mod Hub. Stock, or stocking game, Giants Mod Hub. Farm Simulators Mod Hub. Now as that's mixing, we will jump into this, and but I think it's already mixed. What's it saying? Total mixed rations, or yeah, total mixed rations. Oh, mixed rations. So before it's mixed, it will say forage, which is game extension that says makes it say that. And when it's done, obviously we'll go to total mixed rations, or ration. I know these guys had quite a bit of food in there already, so they probably are okay. I'll switch all that back onto. And yeah, they they were actually okay. So probably two loads, and that'll be them. Hundred percent. They're at sixty percent health now. That's awesome. That means the uh, milk production will be good. Uh, cleanliness is at ninety-one percent. Water, they're good. Straw, they're good. They can do with a bit more. Which we've got some bales out there to give them. Uh, manure is a little bit there. Milk tank, liquid. So, sorry, there's 64,000 liters basically. Which that will be getting bumped up soon enough, probably with the aid of XMLs, solely so I can actually do slurry. Right, we'll leave the mixer going again. Uh, this is all we'll feed them today. 
This will probably give them enough to, for it to flag up. No, they can't take any more feed. That lighten though, look how bright and crisp it looks. Now just imagine this with the materials where the lighten interacts with the materials correctly. Not just all the same. And that's honestly probably 19. Obviously it I'm not saying, oh, it's just 19 with different lighting. Uh -oh. Whatever. It's not. It, it's completely different, but it kind of gives you a little, little tiny smidge of the difference. I think, honestly, it would have been Seasons and Seasons lighting. That probably made Giants just sit back and go, wow, look how much beautiful the game is with this. Because it does. It changes the game so much. It is amazing. How much lighting can change up a game, and I believe it was even put into the Giants' uh, South American map with the one with the sugarcane. Uh, that type of lighting, they definitely changed it up in there. So, it's, yeah, see where it says forage. And actually, there was there was a bale with a little less in. That's interesting. There was a bale rotting away. So that's doing that. Have we got our rune on? No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do, but not as fast as I'd like. Let's. Or rather, here they are. Let's check these out. 4,000 liters. 4,000 liters. Okay, that's just a couple there. Oh, the 77 tens done. Well, the 78 tens, should I say? Uh, looks like we got a bit of rain coming down there, or a bit of mist. Uh, we're looking for the horse to get done, and then we'll carry on. Four thousand. Four thousand. These are okay. What well, bear was lesson? Oh well. Oh well. Never gonna know. Never gonna knew. Well, they took all of that. And they're causing a traffic jam with themselves by the looks of it. Clever animals of the cows. And as soon as the horse is done, we will be fast forward into another day. Just another day in paradise. And as long as the cows are good, we may just rinse through that one before you guys even uh, come back. So Friday could be the first day of winter. Probably what I'll do to be quite honest. And there's there's the rain coming down. Shouldn't be excited for this, but I am. Uh, windscreen wipers. We had it in the game before, and then it magically disappeared. I still don't understand that one. I need to stop shutting down the machines now. It's a habit. Good habit, but a pain in the ass. Now, because he's been sat outside, the chances of these have started to roll away with the time, too. I don't know whether it's just at night, whether it does it or when. I just hope because the bales aren't too... Because the bales are so close to the side, it could be something as stupid as that that's causing it. Which, again, we'll soon find out what it is. And over the winter too, we'll be, as I've said before, we'll go through our... No, I back too close to that. Son of a gun. Actually, it's all two bears and it still says I've got 4,000 liters. Oh, great. This has probably glitched it then. We'll see what it does in a minute. I'm going to be annoyed if it has. It has. Uh, fun stuff, eh? So, I am going to end it here. I'll figure out what we're going to do for our thumbnail. Now it's raining, too. So, 
Oh no, it didn't. It gave us the bells that we had. Beautiful. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow for another Shamrock. Later!